Tonight we're learning more about a sophisticated criminal operation that relied heavily on BART to push drugs. Nightbeat's Chris Nairs explains how the drugs traveled hundreds of miles to end up in one of the most crime-ridden spots in the entire Bay Area. Tonight, the feds say 32 people are in custody as part of an initiative to try to clean up the tenderloin. Hundreds of pages of court documents allege two crime organizations were running drugs from Mexico to Oakland and selling them on the streets of San Francisco. According to federal court documents, the drug dealers were based in East Oakland and Hayward, renting apartments on streets like this one, provided by the drug trafficking organization. In exchange for housing, they allegedly sold drugs in San Francisco's Tenderloin. Might be able to say that these are commuter drug dealers. Every morning, a new load of drugs would come into the, uh, into the East Bay, package it up, either take BART or commute across the, the bridge into the Tenderloin to sell your drugs uh, during the day, then come back to the East Bay at night with the profit. The drugs they're accused of selling, cocaine, heroin, methamphetamine, prescription pills, and fentanyl, would wind up right here on the streets of the Tenderloin. There is a lot of sophistication to it. Um, there may be some elements of human trafficking involved. San Francisco Supervisor Matt Haney, whose district includes the Tenderloin, says it's a known fact that drug traffickers treat the Tenderloin as a business hub. The federal case is the first step in an initiative meant to clean up this area. And tonight, San Francisco police are touting their work here as well. They made 50 drug-related arrests today alone of drug dealers, fugitives, and armed suspects. But Haney wants to make sure the targets are the people at the top. Uh, I'm working with the U.S. Attorney closely to make sure that this is an effort that's focused on the higher level uh, folks who are really pushing these deadly drugs, uh, massive amounts of them every single day into our community. Federal agents say their investigation is ongoing and they'll follow new leads as they develop. In Oakland, Kristen Ayers on the Night Beat.